Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika, today I have my spring fashion haul for you. And that's what's hanging behind me. As you can see, it's quite a lot. The main reason for that is that I went to a vintage kilo sale a couple of weeks ago. It was the first time I went shopping for clothes in person in like more than eight months or so. So that was quite the experience, so I got a few bits. And then, of course, I did also shop for the new season online. And I have to say I went a little bit ham. H&M is absolutely killing it at the moment with their collection. They are doing a really, really good job, so we've got some of their pieces. I also have some Arquette, which is a brand I was hoping to try. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I would like to kick us off with the outfit I'm wearing. So this is what I'm wearing today, <laughs> just for the video. Uh, I have a And Other Stories cardigan on with B buttons. I'm not sure you can see. Let me, <laughs> do you see that? The items behind me, you should also know, some of these I bought all the way back in January. <laughs> some of these, like this is not something that I bought in like a single week or day or anything like that. That would be a bit outrageous. Um, and then I'm just wearing Topshop mom jeans, which have become my new favorite pair of jeans. They are so, so comfortable, but because Topshop went bankrupt and has now been taken over by ASOS, I'm a little bit worried about their jeans quality and what it's gonna do. So I am currently really on the hunt for like trying other brands that maybe I haven't tried before. So I'm currently really on a jeans kick. You will find a few of them in the haul today. And I think next week, I hope, fingers crossed, because the order isn't here yet. I have never tried Zara jeans ever because they were always way too long. But apparently now Zara does some other things I've heard. And I hear so many people raving about Zara jeans. I was like, I wouldn't know what the fuss is about. So yeah, that's it. Oh, and for shoes, because I know that for some of the things I'm going to show you today, it would be good to be wearing shoes. So I'm wearing my Reebok Classics. These are the C Club C85, I believe. These are my favorite pair of white sneakers. And as per usual, I would like to start the haul off by talking about shoes. And the first pair of shoes I'd like to show you, I'm not sure if they're still available, but I spotted these on H&M. And I was like, I need those. Like, I just knew instantly that these chunky black brogues had my name written all over it. They're very sort of like, almost like Dr. Martin-esque, but not quite. And then they have this really cool black bu buckle, or gold buckle, I should say, and then they just have this really sturdy sole. They are real leather, they're from their premium range, and these were quite good on my wide feet, actually, I have to say. So, very happy with these new shoes. I haven't worn them yet, so please don't freak out if you see me touch the bottoms. And then the other pair of shoes is a very belated, like, sale purchase. I've got quite a lot of boots already from Vagabond, but I don't have that many in a brown. And then they did this caramel brown suede. So these are real suede boots, and they were on such a good deal. These are their Olivia style. And what they are is just a plain ankle booty with a zip. And then this is what the side looks like. And they've got a little bit of a point. So these will go with everything. And I like switching up my boot game in the spring summer season for a brown boot because I feel it goes with a lot of the lighter colors that I like to wear then. Now the first section of the haul is going to be bottoms. So I'll be putting these on for you in a minute, but this is a skirt from And Other Stories. All right, so this is what the skirt looks like on. I think it's really, really cute. It's a mini length, um, but a little longer than your average mini, which is what I like. I did, have so I did have to size up in this quite a bit, which I always need to do in End Other Stories. They run quite small, so this is the largest size they do. Um, but yeah, I, I just really liked it. I like the length on me. However, I feel that the pattern <laughs> is not exactly spring-summer to me. It's more like a fall item. So this is one of those items that I think I'm going to keep in my wardrobe until the new season rolls around because I do really like this. Uh, and what I couldn't really show you very well is how gorgeous this pattern is. It looks like it's made out of tapestry. Next pair of bottoms is another pair of mom jeans and these are from H&M and they are lilac. Remember the lilac trousers that I styled up for you in February? These are the replacement. Uh, so yeah, I really wanted another pair of lilac trousers, you guys. I 
just they weren't perfect so I've decluttered them you saw that in my wardrobe reorganization because I found these these are really comfy they're nice and baggy <laughs> and just a really really good fit on me as well I find next up is a pair of trousers that I've been lusting, lusting after for a while but that I just with my petite frame knew wouldn't really work and what are they let me show you They're a pair of black flare trousers. I'm not sure if you can see. They are currently way too long on me. And they're a knit, so I can't roll them. Since they're flared, you can't roll them either. So what I have found that I can do, because they're high-waisted and they're very stretchy, <laughs> I think they're actually from the H&M loungewear collection, I can hike these up all the way. And then I can just roll the band, the waistband down, and then I would I had to roll them a few times, like four times or so. And if I do that, there you go. How to make flare pants work if you're petite. And because these are so stretchy and the waistband does hold you in quite well, I can still layer these high-waisted all the way rolled up to my belly button. Now my next pair of bottoms is a pair of jeans. Again, loose leg, 90 style, way too long on me, jeans. Now I'm going to show you in a minute how I'm going to make these work for my petite frame. These are H&M, and this was the item that made me realize that H&M is currently doing a killer denim collection. This is just one of the pieces that I got from that collection. I think they all launched around the same time. But yeah, these are super high-waisted. They go very high up. They've got a button front fly. Hallelujah. And I really liked how they looked around here, around the bum. So that's what I was the main selling point. Now, how am I going to make these work? Because I'm only five feet tall. So these like flare long pants that you see everywhere right now, no. But I've got these. So all of a sudden, <laughs> I'm inches taller than I usually am. And I'll show you what it does to the jeans. They suddenly come up to the perfect length. And it's giving them a very 70s vibe. Even though I'm petite, because of the heels that just go with it perfectly, I mean... I look about sky high right now. This is the effect that you get when, even though I'm petite, I've got a short torso, but I've got really long legs compared to the rest of my frame. So for me, these things can still work if I wear them with a pair of, well, they're, they're not super high heels. And because they're block heels, they work really well. This feels comfortable. I feel great in this. And yeah, I, I'm down with the loose leg <laughs> jeans trend, that's for sure. So this is the last pair of like regular jeans that I have to show you. Not my last pair of bottoms though, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, but these are by Arquette. Um, these are by Arquette and Arquette is one of those brands that I really wanted to try because I keep hearing people raving about it. Now their jeans is, a partic is an item that a lot of people are raving about, but on the models, who are obviously going to be much taller than me, they always looked like full length, and I was like, I can't wear that. But this is their tapered, cropped. Now on me, they're not cropped. <laughs> they're full length, which is why I'm wearing the sneakers, so you can see the full effect. They kind of sit just above the sneaker, and I think that's a really, really cool look. It's really giving me this like 90s boot cut kind of vibe. And I'm down with it because, and they're still very high-waisted. These, oh my word, these are so comfortable. And I really like the wash of these as well. This is just a really good, like, basic standard wash. And last but not least, in bottoms. You got that right. I got myself a pair of dungarees. These are from H&M. They're part of that same denim collection as the jeans I just showed you. And I spotted these and I was like, I want that pair. And this is so weird to me because a pair of dungarees was my go-to in my teens and early 20s to the point where when they came back in vogue a few years ago, I was like, I don't ever want to wear dungarees ever again until I spotted these. Because the wash, I mean, it's just stunning. 
and they fit me so well. And yes, they are full length on me. Again, on the model, they are going to be cropped. But on me, they're just a nice full length, which is why I'm wearing the sneakers, so I can show you that. And then we just have such a great fitting pair of dungarees. And the reason why I like these is because, again, they have that straight leg going down. So they're a little bit looser in the leg, whereas before, a lot of dungarees were very fitted. And with my apple shape, it just doesn't work. But these still kind of singe you in at the waist, so it doesn't make you look too much like a blob. So now you may be wondering, Michael, why are you showing us a wool knit in springtime? Because that's what this is. This is an actual wool knit from H&M. Not even a wool blend, it's like a wool sweater. But the weather has been so freakish over here. When you're watching this, we've just had a week filled with rain, snow, hail, and sunshine all in the same day not to mention the wind. So yeah, this is a really lovely sweater. It's a little baggy, boxy, because this is a medium, which is usually my size in sweaters. And I just thought that this slit detail was so incredibly cool um, that, yeah, it just it's just a really nice quality sweater as well. And I love the cream with the stripe. If you say spring, I say printed t-shirts, and H&M do the best ones. I discussed that in a recent video where I talk about like my favorite fashion pieces where to shop for them. H&M do some lovely band tees, I feel, better quality than most stores on the high street. And I got myself, finally, an ACDC one, and I really like this one because it also has something in the back, which a lot of these tees usually don't do. And I feel this therefore feels more like an official band tee, because if you were to buy a band tee, it always has the tour in the back. It, it just does. Um, I got a super oversized one from the Ramones. I also got this one <laughs> with Kermit and Miss Piggy, and it says Stay Glamorous, which I thought was really fun. It's a really nice taupey shade, but this came with shoulder pads, so I took those out, and then I also got myself Pink Floyd. And I'm just going to start us off with the best find probably in a long time, straight away, and this is a vintage leather jacket. I'm pretty sure it's from the 80s. It's really giving me Michael Jackson circa thriller beaded kind of vibes, you know? It really is that sort of jacket. Um, it is real leather and I bought it at the vintage kilo sale that I went to and this was just such a steal and you know how I feel about red and the best part about it is that it also does up completely, it just has these snap buttons that snap into place and then you're still like, you know, not too overheating and you can still keep the jacket close as well. So that's great. And then it just has this lovely red color. It has the baggier sleeves, meaning that if you want to layer something underneath it, you can still make it work. And it has an elasticated waistband around the bottom, which means that even if you wear it open, it still works really well. And the best part about vintage anything I find this is that very often it's made for smaller people. So the sleeve length on this is actually perfect for me. Now the next jacket is not gonna go with the t-shirt I'm wearing underneath it, that's for sure. I would have to layer this differently, but it is a cropped vintage style blazer. And this is another vintage find from the Kilo sale. And it's a navy, like oversized Prince of Wales check kind of thing. It did have a ripped lining, so I cut out the lining from the sleeves so that it wasn't annoying because when you put your hands in, you just had all of this excess fabric. Uh, so I still need to give it a stitch so that just to make sure that it stays in place because right now when I put it on, I just have excess stuff hanging out as well. But yeah, this just, I just thought it looked really, really cute. I would never wear this with a light pair of denim like this. I definitely need to style this up in the right way, but. I just thought, A, crop jackets are everywhere at the moment, and I just thought that this would make for such a good workwear piece. It's still really funky because look at those buttons. Woo! <laughs> it has this very almost like mod vibe to it, and I'm down with it. Next up is another item that doesn't really go with the t-shirt underneath it, but it's an H&M blazer in this gorgeous sagey green shade, and it's got like a cottony, linen kind of material. I have rolled up the sleeves because it is an oversized blazer. It is quite long for that reason, 
but that's what I like about it. I mean, it just is a really good one and it kind of looks like I stole it from my dad. I did size down in this a lot. It's a small, whereas usually I'd be like a medium or a large, but because it's so oversized and because I'm petite, if I buy an oversized blazer in my actual size, it's just gonna drown me because it would have come on, come off even longer on me. And I feel that this is just that sort of like vintage 80s style blazer vibe that I like, but without it being too overpowering. And I definitely think that this lovely green shade has a lot to do with that as well. So, so far, I feel we've only discussed like H&M and like vintage stuff, a uh, bit of Arquette and, and other stories, but Zara, which is a brand that usually makes a solid appearance in my hauls, I wasn't able to find that much from them. I just don't feel they're that on point, but when I spotted this cobalt blue bit blazer, I just knew I had to have it. Now this is a little bit more fitted, so I definitely did size up in this. Um, I can close it, like I said. I don't look for that in a blazer because I just look for the shoulders and for like sleeve length and that it's nicely fitted around here. That's what I find much more important. Again, not with this t-shirt. I would probably go with a plain t-shirt or maybe like a stripe. That's what I would go for. But again, this doesn't have sleeves that are overly long on me. And it has some really nice button buttons in the details, just the gold buttons. And then it just really nicely singes you in. And last but not least, ooh, this is gonna throw off the white balance completely. But the final blazer I got is from H&M and it's this gorgeous burgundy number. Uh, it's again, a little bit longer, a little bit more fitted. I definitely had to size up in this. In fact, I already spotted it in the fall time and I was gonna get it for my fall haul that I did back then, but then my size was out of stock and I had ordered the wrong size and it didn't fit me in the arms very well. I couldn't like move. <laughs> so I always find it important. I need to be able to like move my arms around and not be <laughs> super restricted in my movements when I wear a blazer. And I just really like the color of this. It's this like burgundy wine shade and I've actually found a gap in my wardrobe and that is burgundy tops. Okay, so I'm not sure how much this is gonna show my bra, uh, but I definitely wouldn't wear this bra with this top for sure. It's another Spencer, it's from H&M, it's from their Divided range. It's a cream color and then it just has, do you just see the cutest little embroidered flowers on it? It's just right here at the front, those five embroidery things. There's nothing in the back. But I just thought this was again a nice one to layer over things. I'm not someone who's going to wear something like this as a top. Did I say what the other one was from? But the other Spencer was from H&M. This one is from Monkey and it's already a little bit cropped and then it's black and I'm not sure if you can see because I think the white balance is throwing it off but it's got a cable knit design to it. It's a little bit more fitted than the other one, that's for sure. And this one I feel I could get away with as a top precisely because of how it's shaped. Um, so this is a little bit more, like it's not sticking out at the arm, so I feel it's a little bit more streamlined. Um, but again, I bought this to layer over things, that's for sure. Now this next item is a bit of a Marmite item, I'm sure. It's lilac, yet again. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, do I have any more lilac? I think the, this is the only one. Last year I went ham on the lilac items, which is why I felt I only needed like one or two. Um, but yeah, this is a lilac cardigan top. It is cropped, um, but I do think it's a little too long on me, so I like to tuck it anyways. And this, of course, I can very easily just wear as a top, but again, you can layer other things underneath it. And then it just has these really nice poofy sleeves. I thought this was really cute. All right, so this next item is another cardigan, um, because yeah, apart from sweaters, cardigans also work this time of year. And I got this black one for H&M, which I thought was really nice. And this is one that you can very easily wear as a top um, and just kind of wear it like slouchy towards the back. It has a little V, I'm not sure if you can see that. It's got a little V towards the back as well. So this is again, great for spring, summer. It's a full on cotton knit, so it's not too warm, but it's still warm enough for this time of year. And I have longer black cardigans, but I didn't have anything that was more cropped this way. Now, like the black number, I felt that I needed a cardigan in this like button down style that we've been seeing a lot in the past year in like a creamy color as well, because it's something I don't have. And then I saw this oatmeal one on and other stories and I thought, yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. And what I love about this, I'm not sure if you can see that, if it will focus. 
And do you just see that it has a really nice marl to it almost? Like it's got blue and a little bit of orange almost to it, so it's not a flat color. And then it also has this really stunning design to it. So it's it's got a little bit more texture, which I love. And it's again, a little bit more cropped. So I don't really have to do much in terms of tucking when I'm wearing something high-waisted with it. And then again, those nice like baggier sleeves. I just think this is so adorable. Now, before we move on to the item that I'm wearing, I'm gonna show you something else that I can't really put on because I don't have the right underwear on and I would never wear these together. But I, I told you that I didn't like a lot of the things that Zara is currently doing, but the things I do find that I like are an instant winner. So crochet is everywhere. And I found this crochet rainbow cord with a top, it's a t-shirt, which I just keep with my t-shirt, so I'll probably get the most wear out of this. I'm not gonna lie, but it's it's like completely see-through. And now I've got lip gloss all over it too. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's got this really sweet color and then it's got the same sort of rim uh, rim detail and then it just has all the colors of the rainbow. A little bit more pastel leaning, so perfect for spring. But are you ready for the main part of this entire spring haul? I got blouses and not just one, but like everything that's still on the rail is blouses. Now this is by Arquette, so this was a little bit more expensive, but this is a white cotton blouse. I'm currently wearing it in a knit, like a knot, which is how I feel I think I would be wearing it because this is very, very long and oversized on me. So I can't really wear it like this, maybe tucked in, but then I feel there's a lot of excess fabric to be tucking, but it can work. Now I told you, if you watch my, uh, if you watch my wardrobe reorganization, I told you I didn't need another satin blouse. And now I'm coming to you with another satin blouse. Hear me out though. I bought this because I think this will layer perfectly underneath the rainbow vintage blazer that I showed you in like my five items I find difficult to style. A lot of people were saying, put a blue blouse with it. Here's the thing, I didn't own a single blue blouse, save for a stripy one with embroidery on it. And then I found this at H&M. And I'm like, that's going to be perfect. It's a little bit long, like the Arquette one, so this is one which I'm definitely gonna have to tuck on me, but because this is uh, like a satiny material, it drapes really well, so I don't mind tucking this as much, like the cotton is a bit stiff, so I feel it just kind of billows too much. Whereas this is really nice, and actually, this dove gray shade is a blouse that I used to own from H&M, but I declared it because it was too fitted, and it didn't suit my frame. So this more oversized version is more versatile on me. Again, I can knot it, I could wear this as a dress, I could wear this in so many different ways, and I think it will go perfectly with that blazer, and that's why I ended up buying it. Plus, is that this light blue shade is perfect underneath the burgundy blazer that I just showed you. I've got another oversized cotton blouse for you. This one is from Zara though. This is the uh, last Zara, Zara purchase I have to share with you. And I just, I fell in love with the color. It's a little bit sheer, but this like really bright pinky shade I thought was really fun. This also has those really nice sleeves that like the Arquette one. I've been really looking out for blouses that have this really structured sleeve detail. Uh, because I feel that that makes the blouse look a lot better on me than when it's like this really flimsy stuff. Again, it's oversized, so it's super duper long. Not as long as the Arquette one. Uh, this doesn't work on me as a dress. Um, but this could just be like just an oversized blouse that I stole from my boyfriend, that's for sure. Um, and then I have the ability to tuck with this a little bit more because the cotton of this blouse isn't as thick as the Arquette one and this doesn't have any buttons all the way up so it's sort of like that Saturday Night Fever moment. Are you ready for the vintage blouse section then? Because I got because if I go to a vintage kilo sale the thing I look out for the most is blouses and I found this perfect polka dot number and it is a little bit longer but it's also very boxy which I like. Again I would tuck this. It's got enough fabric that I can tie it in the front. 
and where I usually rip the shoulder pads out of these vintage blouses straight away, I've kept them in in this one because I kind of like the shape that it gives. I'm not too sure. I like that the sleeves are a little bit longer. I'm not sure if you can see. It's got a little bit more of a flute and a bit of a frilly detail as well. Are you sick of all these blouses yet? I have another one for you. Uh, another vintage one, which I would probably again say with me, tie in a front knot because that's how I like to wear these things. And this is a men's blouse. So it's got a very sharp collar, which has this like really stiff material in it, like almost like it's got a like a actual board in it. And then it the way you can tell it's a men's blouse is because it buttons the other way round. So men's buttons work the other way round. Um, and then it just has, again, that same sort of stiff material in the sleeves. And then it has red gingham. And I love gingham print. And I found out that I do have gingham print blouses with short sleeves, but I don't have them with a longer sleeve. And what I like about this is that it's almost this like cheesecloth kind of material. So it's super duper thin and lightweight. I think the most Marmite item of the entire haul would be this vintage blouse. It's pastels, it's brights, and it's got a really wacky print. It's got chains, it's got dice, it's got flowers. I don't know, I like, I, this reminds me of SpongeBob SquarePants, or am I the only person? This is a blouse I did take the shoulder pads out of straight away. As you can see, it's very square in the shoulders. It's got that longer sleeve again. It's a little tight, I'm not gonna lie. I can't really wear it untucked. Uh, because then it just it just is a little like that's just not flattering <laughs> it accentuates the appleness the roundness but if i tie it grab it like really sort of put it like bring it together and put it into my jeans like this i think this makes for a stunning little blouse vintage blouse number four if there is a print that reminds me of the 90s it's this like, I, this was around so much during the 90s, and this is why I couldn't say no. I really like the colors of this. It's got, like, mustard yellow and blue and, like, green, and it's just really, really nice. And I, I, I don't know why. I just thought this is that wacky thing that, obviously, because of the print, makes it vintage instantly. You can just tell. And the place to pick up a Hawaiian dad shirt is, of course... A vintage sale. This is another men's shirt. It's a really nice rich navy and then it just has this like tropical leafy print design to it in this like creamy yellow and I just thought that this it just works really well. Again much much too long and unflattering if I don't do anything else with it um, but if I just give it a bit of a tuck there you go it just works. Now, another brand that was super duper on point when it came to their blouses, it was Monkey. So H&M in the de denim department and Monkey definitely with their blouses. So again, not an item for everyone, but I really wanted this like pale yellow blouse to replace one that I, again, used to own years ago that fell apart on me and I wanted something differently. And this is definitely something differently because Look at the frill. I thought it was so cute. And very often if things are frilly, it kind of goes straight over the bust or the shoulders, which are my widest points, which I don't like to accentuate. But this, I thought, it has something very disco fever about it. We're uh, moving on to the instigator of all of these monkey blouses because I was looking for a good floral blouse. I found I didn't have too many floral blouses that didn't have a very ditzy print or something that was really big. I didn't have a lot in between. And then I spotted this with the purple and the brighter green and the light blue. I thought it was very now. It is full length on me right now. Again, I would tuck this. It's got a satiny material, but it's a little bit more matte. It's not very shiny. It's got a pajama style collar, which I love. And then these lovely flowy sleeves. I just love this. I just really, really like this. And this, like this is an outfit. <laughs> like I can head out the door like this right now. This is, this is Micah Spring in a nutshell. And now the reason why I waited to place my monkey order until I did was to wait for this blouse to come in stock. This is a seersucker cotton blouse with a balloon sleeve and 
gingham print. So this is my other long sleeve gingham print blouse. Um, this is so, so lovely that the next item you'll see is the same blouse in a different print, which I normally don't really do, but I couldn't choose. So I decided to keep both of them. The, the difference between the two is I got them both in the same size. And this one is definitely a lot smaller. Like I can barely get this to go down. So I definitely need to tuck this in because it's great on me everywhere else. I felt I was afraid that if I were to size up in this and it would fit around here, that it would be too big and billowy over here because it already has those sleeves. And that's the thing with me and balloon sleeves because I'm quite like wide up here. I don't like it if it's too billowy here. I like it to be longer sleeved because I feel it balances out my frame better than when it's like more up here. Ta-da, same blouse, different print. A lot more spring vibe to me. The other one I find is more like seasonal transcendent. This is definitely more spring. It's a baby blue checkerboard print and the, the checkerboard isn't like very sort of like strong. It's almost like it's a bit washed out. So I feel it adds a softness to the pattern, which I love. It's got the same billowy sleeves. Remember, it's the same blouse. It's the same blouse and the same size. And this one fits me really well over here. So not sure what's going on there, but again, I would tuck this for sure. I wouldn't put it with blue jeans. I would definitely put it with white jeans, maybe white shorts or a white broderie anglaise skirt. That would be the vibe with this one because blue on blue, I think this can kind of work when it, when it comes to this pair of jeans because the blue in the jeans is repeated in the blouse. So I think it works, but I, I, I'm not a big fan of blue on blue, which is why I wasn't, I didn't own a lot of blue pieces for like tops uh, because I wear so many blue jeans and I don't like the blue on blue look. It looks too much like double denim to me. You know what else I didn't own? A light blue denim shirt. I just didn't have one. H&M brought this out as part of their denim collection and I was like, yes, this is it. It's a bit more oversized. It's a bit more baggy. Again, I can tuck this if I want to, but it's thick enough that it could even be layered as a jacket. Why didn't I own a light blue denim blouse? For the same reason as I didn't own too many light blue blouses to begin with, it doesn't go with denim, I find. Denim on denim, no go for me. While I tell, talk you through the final item of this haul, and that's this H&M baby blue corduroy blouse. It's very similar to the denim one I just showed you. Um, it's really, really lovely. It's got the same snap buttons, got two pockets here, and this is one of those blouses you could wear potentially as a blouse, or as a jacket. I really like the length on me as well. Again, a great layering piece. You can wear this as is, again, with a white pair of denim, not light blue ones like this because it's just a bit too much, I find. So that's why light blue tops, I feel work really well with my complexion and with my hair, but I, I never felt I had the right bottoms for them to go with. And I now do have <laughs> some good pairs of bottoms that I feel these can go with. So that's why I invested in some light blue denim and blouses and things like that. So yeah, that's it for me for today. Those are all of the items that I have for you. I know it was a lot, but those vintage pieces really sort of <laughs> drove it through to like more than I would usually show you. Oh well, I hope you still enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Like I mentioned in my intro, I plan on doing a Zara jean try on. We'll see how it goes as a bit of an extra video for you on Saturday. So stay tuned for that if you'd like to see some more fashion content by me. If you like my usual fare, I mainly make uh, videos about makeup. So that's what I do over here three times a week. And I hope to see you in my next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.